We're now looking at the liver of the horse, and as you can see, this is a reddish brown, fairly smooth bordered organ. We're looking at the diaphragmatic surface, and it should be nice and smooth as it is here. We've got uh, the remnants of the fibrous part of the diaphragm attached here, and at the right hand dorsal area, there is a normal attachment of, again, fascia to the peritoneum. That's quite normal, so do not mistake that for some abnormal adhesion. That is a normal attachment. On the surface of the capsule here, there's a small white area with a little tag-like structure, which is a fibrous scar-like formation as a result of movement between the hepatic capsule and the diaphragm. This is not unusual in horses, particularly those that do a lot of exercise, and so again, it's an incidental feature and not to be interpreted as pathologically significant. And now if we turn it over and look at the visceral surface, we can see a similar smooth capsule here. Just dry it off a little bit just to take some of the moisture off. You can see that here is the remnants of the entry of the blood vessels and there's a small accessory lobe here. This is quite normal. There's a normal attachment here. This is not an adhesion. It's not unusual to have an attachment. And there's another interesting feature here. You'll notice that there are some small clefts and subdivisions of this part of the liver lobe. Again, this is just a developmental variation. There's nothing pathologically significant about this at all. These are congenital variations of normality. As a final examination, one should just look at the parenchyma. So do a series of cuts like we did for the spleen and then just examine the parenchyma. And you can see here that this is a fairly blood-filled liver, lots of blood coming out. You can always just dry the parenchyma off and just examine the hepatic parenchyma like this in this area here. This is quite uniform, finely lobular, and quite normal.